Hello everyone! The second day of the Euro is over. Write your predictions for today's matches, click on the like button, and let's get the show on the pitch! Atalanta announced the buyout of the contract of the striker Charles de Quetelar, who played for the Bergamo club on loan from Milan. The price is 26 million euros. Arsenal have made contact with Girona regarding the transfer of La Liga's top scorer Artem Davbeck. Lemmy Niemal is the youngest football player in the history of the Euros. He played against Croatia at the age of 16 years and 338 days. He also became the youngest player to register an assist. Real captain Nacho Fernandez has not yet made a final decision on his move to al Idihad. He has his doubts despite the fact that the negotiations were at an advanced stage. Liverpool are set to challenge Barcelona for Arbe Leipzig attacker Dani Olmo. Yesterday morning, Millwall and Montenegro goalkeeper Matias Sarkic tragically died. He collapsed while with friends and doctors were unable to save him. The cause of death has not been officially announced. 31-year-old Fabian Hertzler has officially become the head coach of Brighton. The deal is for three years. Last season, he returned to St. Pauli in the Bundesliga. Valentin Barco, Angel Correa and Leandro Balerdi were not included in the final list of Argentina's national team for the Copa America 2024. I would like to play with Lemine Yamal one day, Tiago Messi said. Royal Madrid and France central midfielder Orlean Chamonix will be able to recover in time for the second round of the group stage match against the Netherlands. Albania's midfielder Nadim Bayrami scored the fastest goal in the history of the Euros against Italy in the 23rd second. Valentin Carboni has a fantastic future. He is the present and future of Argentina. I saw him when he was with the U20s, but he's grown a lot. He's got incredible quality, Lionel Messi noted. Atletico's centre-back Gabriel Paulista has joined Besiktas as a free agent. Zinedine Zidane will participate in Kylian Mbappe's presentation at Santiago Bernabeu on July 16th. Vitor Roque and Noah Darwich will have preseason training with Barca's first team. Flick sees great potential in both of them. Former Arsenal, Everton and Nottingham Forest striker Kevin Campbell has died at the age of 54. He had been fighting the disease for a long time. Arsenal forward Reese Nelson wants to leave the club due to a lack of playing time. He informed the management of his decision. Bayern offer Alexander Pavlovich a new contract until the summer of 2029. He is seen as a key player for the project. Jonathan Ta has decided to leave Bayern, but if the club fails to reach an agreement with Bayern now, he will leave as a free agent in the summer of 2025. Manchester City have no intention of even listening to any proposals for the transfer of Julian Alvarez. West Ham offered Atletico 35 million euros for Samu Amorodion, who had a successful loan spell for Alaves, but Madrid rejected the offer. Luka Jovic will stay in Milan for the next season. The club will extend the contract with the Serbian. Jose Mourinho asked Fenerbahce's board to buy Viktor Lindelof. The Istanbul side offered 8 million euros. Milan's management decided to activate the option to buy out young defender Alvaro Jimenez from Real for 5 million euros. Bologna midfielder Michel Abisher became the first player in the history of the Swiss national team to score a goal and make an assist in the same Euro match. Now I'm 100% focused on the Euro. Whether I will stay at Milan or leave, we'll see about this afterwards, Teo Hernandez claimed. Newcastle have contacted Milan about the transfer of centre-back Fikayo Tomori. Arsenal are ready to sell Emil Smith-Rowe if they receive an offer of at least £30 million. Alvaro Morata moved up to third place in the number of Euro goals in tournament history with seven. Only Michel Platini has more with nine and Cristiano Ronaldo with 14. Nottingham Forest intend to activate the release clause of Corinthians' goalkeeper Carlos Miguel, worth 4 million euros. Juventus don't consider ex-Barcelona midfielder Artur Melo, who returns from a loan spell at Fiorentina. He is of interest to two Premier League clubs. Granit Xhaka is the best player in the Hungary vs Switzerland match, Fabian Ruiz in the Spain vs Croatia, and Nicola Barella in the Italy vs Albania. Incher can't agree on a contract extension with Denzel Dumfries. The club wants to sell the defender to Manchester United. 
Douglas Lewis's girlfriend Alicia Lemon will join the Juventus women's team. She will be part of the deal to exchange Douglas Lewis for Weston McKinney. Palmeiras prodigy William Esteval, known as Messinho, is half a step away from becoming a Chelsea player. The 17-year-old Brazilian has already passed a medical test before the transfer to the London club. The only thing left to do is to sign the contract. Here are the results of yesterday's Euro 2024 game day. The Spanish national team destroyed Croatia in just one half. It all started with a terrible mistake by the Croatian midfield, which allowed Alvaro Morata to escape 1-1 one and, one and score. In the 32nd minute, Fabian Ruiz incredibly took on Luka Modric, entered the penalty area and beat Livakovic. In the last minutes of the first half, Dani Carvajal put an end to the game after a magical pass from Lemin Yamal. Italy's game against Albania started absolutely incredibly. After a terrible mistake by Federico Di Marco, who literally threw the ball in to Bayrami, the Albanian team took the lead in the 23rd second. However, in the 15th minute, Italy went ahead to 1. First, after a corner kick, Alessandro Bastoni scored with a header and then Nicola Barella made an incredible long-range shot. The main hero of the match against Hungary was Bologna midfielder Misha Labischer, who registered a goal plus assist in the first half. First, Dua scored from his pass and then he scored himself with a long shot. After the break, Barnabas Varga pulled one back, but Bril and Bolo finished off the opponents at 90 plus third. Now let's move on to the main news. Al Hilal president Anmar Al Haili confirmed they had an idea to revive the Messi vs Ronaldo rivalry in Saudi Arabia. His club was in talks with Messi. We did contact Messi when his contract with Paris was up. We offered him 1.4 billion euros, but he refused because his family wanted to move to America. It was a surprise that a player could turn down such a huge offer for the sake of his family. His family could have been persuaded, but he refused right away. We respect this decision because family is more important than money. Ronaldinho Gaucho once again criticized the current national team on Saturday, calling it perhaps one of the worst teams in recent years, lacking respectable leaders and mostly average players. That's it, guys. I will not watch any Brazil game at the Copa America nor celebrate any victory. I've had enough. It's a sad moment for those who love Brazilian football. It's hard now to find the spirit to watch the games. It's one of the worst teams in recent years. No respectable leaders, only average players for the majority. I've never seen a situation as bad as this. Lack of love for Brazil shirt and lack of football. Our performance has been one of the worst things I've ever seen. It's such a shame. Ronaldinho wrote on Instagram. The Euro 2024 euphoria isn't just confined to the stadiums where the matches will be played. Thanks to Cristiano Ronaldo, moments of madness unfolded during Portugal's training session as several fans stormed onto the pitch while the team was warming up ahead of their clash against the Czech Republic. Portugal decided to hold an open training session a couple of days before their Euro 2024 debut. According to social media reports, around 6,000 fans attended, though over 50,000 had requested entry. From the outset, these stands were packed, as spectators gathered to witness the warm-ups of stars like Cristiano Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes, Pepe and Vitinha. However, during the training session, several fans attempted to bypass security and enter the playing area. Some managed to approach the Al Nasser forward, while others were stopped by security personnel of the Portuguese players themselves. Friends, now we invite you to find out why the Portuguese national team will win Euro 2024. Click here and enjoy the video!